feel better. I mean, I'm fixing to sign off is what I'm fixing to do. If all this crazy, stupid crap don't quit. Now I had about enough. Hold on a minute. Oh, thank you for that. Yeah, it's coming down pretty good. I'm here, y'all. Yeah, like. Hey, I'm here.
raining now. Raining like a champ. I'm talking about like a champ. Seventy-one degrees. I heard that. Oh, I'm not bummed out. I'm like irritated. But like when you go live and then somebody calls you four times back to back, like, hey, um, Look at Jody Jackson and her little, you, ain't you sweet? Look at him now. He is, man. I see my fifty dollar umbrella over there. It blew off the deck and bent the pole. That's windy. Looks pretty bent. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, you ain't, you ain't bothering me, bro. Love. So I bought a tart, $225. Talking about weighs 80 pounds. I don't even know how I'm gonna put it up there. But it's big enough to cover the whole roof. It's a big mamma gem. And I need to get it up there because I don't know how long this rain is gonna uh, last. Like. I mean, it could rain for a week. You don't ever know. But I know that tarp will put an end to 
Like you would actually be able to work inside if it rains. But I just gotta be able to get it up there. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh, Miss Sharon. I hate to hear that. That's a good idea. Ask God for help. I ain't think about that. <laughs> help me. <laughs> This umbrella right here is uh, coming in pretty handy. Of course, it ain't gonna sit here. Thank you. Look at there. Here's another super chat. Better look out. Still learning how to work. <laughs> Give me a second, y'all. I'm dealing with like some aggravating mess here.
I'm kind of going to need the camera to do that because uh, Can't have nothing. Oh, that's wet. I don't know how, any have any idea how this is going to go. Hey, you, bye.
We got the gate locked out there. We come in here and lock the gate. Hey there, Tim. I ain't doing good, my name. Hello, 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 everybody. Right now. Yeah, well. Oh. Like the rain's like the least of the worry, you know? I'm telling you, when you come in here and lock the gate, I don't know what all he's, I don't know what all he's got, but, uh, the, I, I can tell you this right here, and it might not be what he thinks, but it's what I think. I think it's gonna be like a little while before he gets that roof on. And uh, he needs it where he can work. It needs to be where he can work. It can't. It can't wait three or four days for the the rain to pass, or, and then and then that, it might turn around and be right back. You know. He he he. So, I think the house is all right. It, it, this house ain't been rained on much. But you know it ain't good. But he needs it where he can work. Uh, inside the house. There's stuff that, there's stuff that we can do inside the house. That, need, that needs doing. There's still some more roof bracing that, uh, that we're gonna do. Danny, you can figure it out. I covered my pool by myself. Yeah. Oh, uh, well, I think he's gonna walk upstairs there. That's what I think. But I don't, I don't know, oh. Uh, See, I didn't even know he was going to get a talk, but I texted him this morning before his live, you know, before his coffee live, and told him that I thought he ought to go get that talk. Because he was telling me about it yesterday. I told him I thought he ought to go get it. Oh, uh, like I say, like, so he can work. This thing needs covering up, y'all, and, and uh, when it gets covered up, it don't matter if you miss a day. When it, when the roof gets on it, it don't matter if you miss and all that. But uh, it needs to be where it can work. You can't count on after this rain's gone that there's not more on the way.
Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, you could work on it. You could work in the rain. But like this, uh, you know, it, it ain't, that's something that ain't very fun, you know. But, but there's a lot to do. Like walking around in mud, you know. There's a, there's still a lot to do before we can put that roof on. There's a pretty good bit, well, you know, he ain't even put the deck on the back, on the, what he calls the front yet, you know. Hey, Jim. Hey, everybody. Oh, yeah, hey. What is it, dude? Now he's looking at something. Oh, yeah. Well, you know what he done yesterday, you know. But he needs help, you know. Hey, Steven, you, you ain't got no rope where you can tie it to one of the rings and throw it over the roof? He always gets everything, y'all. You know what I say? He might not do it like you would do it, but he always gets it, you know. You tell me this Friday night, Anita? Hey, that, hey, it's all right, Anita. But like when you come, not tomorrow night, but the next Friday, because I'm kind of getting thrown off about. I'm kind of getting thrown off about that. You know, the malls, we got concert at the malls, you know. You see Jamie and Emil, you need them. Did y'all see where somebody called, will you? Like asking them questions about us and stuff. And it, it, uh, it probably ain't about us, it's about Steven. And it, like Steven's done got scared, boy. Y'all hear me? Steven done got scared. Steven done got freaked out. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, that ain't the first time that's happened to William, you know? Where you get what? Oh, uh, duh. Yeah, I mean, hey, we don't mind nobody coming. We don't, man, we don't want no mental people, you know. We want normal people to come. We want, hey, we don't mind normal people coming. 
and then leave. Come and then leave. I'm telling you, he's, he's freaked out. We don't, I mean, we don't want no mental people coming. There you go. <laughs> there you go. I don't know what normally is. Hey, cannibal. Yeah, he don't know who that was. William don't know who it was. Don't you know that they stupid? Uh, don't you know they stupid to start with to say they, they want to be anonymous? Don't, don't you, like, don't you know they should have at least made a name up instead of I want to be anonymous asking questions? Asked about me, Grandma, Tim, Steve. Yeah. Hey, y'all, I just been sitting back myself, waiting. I just been sitting back myself. You know, uh, see, I ain't bothered too much, see. I ain't bothered, me, myself, I ain't bothered too much. Let's see forever gone. Steven got a tablet in it, dude. If you're talking about bringing the camper up there, man, I can't get that camper up there. Hey, he'll get it. I don't know how he's gonna do it, but he'll get it, y'all. I hell it. He always does, you know. Yeah, I mean, I just, I just don't know, you know. But like, I do know, like, I do know there's crazy people out there. Well, uh, hey, we, we don't mind normal people coming. But like, we don't, we don't know mental people, you know. Hey, Steve, 
Truman does like what he wants to do. Like, like he slapped feet to cancel the concert Friday night, you know. And, I, you know, I mean, he still might do, you know. I mean, we'll have to see. Hey, y'all, I mean, I ain't... Oh. That light don't make me feel good and all that. At all. But I mean, I'm not gonna put up with much. I've been waiting. I've been waiting. And I'm the bad guy enough, you know. Y'all listen to what I'm saying. I'm the bad guy enough. Hey, <laughs> Doug, I mean, hey, I know I'm not a bad guy, but like people think I am, you know. People that there's there's people that don't know me, boy, at all. Yeah, y'all, it wasn't me talking about canceling the concert. It's him talking, it's Steven talking about. And, I, you know, I don't know what he's gonna do. I talked to him on the phone this morning. Hell, he's creeped out. I said, I can tell you what a woman would do. I said, I can tell you exactly what a woman would do. Yeah. Hey y'all, that don't that don't make me happy. But like, what you gonna do? I don't know. I'm gonna ask Stephen about the phone, phone number. I'm William, and I'll get on here and say what the phone number is and see if anybody knows that number. Uh, William did try to call me the other day, and I was doing something and I didn't answer. And uh, I'm gonna put that number out there and see if anybody knows it. I do got friends in low places. I can promise you that I got friends in low places. I'm gonna go get my tablet stand. I'll be right back. You hear that somebody blowing on one over there? UPS or something. Do I need to go over there and see about that, Stephen? Yeah, it's gonna be that other thing. Okay. So Stephen said, uh, it might be that other guitar. So I'm gonna go over there. I'll be back in like five minutes, y'all. Here you go.
It was UPS. Looked like a hat. Go. The box looked like a hat. I guess we'll have to see who the hat for. If he gets it quick enough, imagine we'll work. Hey, 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 take me. Hey, he's put up more talks than I have because I didn't ever hardly do that right there. And he's doing it quite a bit. I didn't, Stephen doing, when he was in the roofing business, or I guess he's like not officially out. But, uh, Stephen was in the emergency roofing business. You know, he was, he was in there for, uh, like emergency repair. But I wasn't, no, uh, I didn't want to be emergency repair. But he was, Stephen was, and he's put a bunch of tarps up. He's went and bought tarps and, and put them up and got beat out of the money. You know, dried their house and went and done it and got beat out of the money. Hey, you need to just send Tim an email and uh, put your phone number in there. Uh, I could be one of the call. They, y'all remember Miss Patricia come? Miss Patricia, like, she wanted to make sure it was all right, you know, before they come. Miss Patricia, she couldn't have watched the concert, but she like come more like to see uh, Grandma, you know. But like she come, she watches come to come, you know. She likes the concert too, but it's more like you know Grandma, you know. I think. I mean, I'm just kind of guessing. I put a. I think it's a 14 minute video of Steven doing them knee walls. It's actually a pretty good video uh, on Southern Ideas. I know that, like, hey, I know it's hard to, like, <laughs> what did he film yesterday for 10 or 11 or 12 hours? But, like, I'm, I mean, I'm just saying it's there. Like, if you want to watch him doing that in 14 minutes, it's actually, like I say, it's actually a pretty good video. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. There's, you know, there's actually more stuff going on than I realized. There's actually more going on than I realized there was. I ain't joking, boy. Like, uh, there's a bunch of phone calling going on in the background for this. I didn't realize all that. Everybody's calling everybody. <laughs> and like, what, what's they to say, you know? I mean, what you call up and what you, what you say? Can you believe what Danny said today? <laughs> he 
hear a lot. Hey, there's more going on than I realize. And then see, I don't, man, I don't hardly talk to nobody on the phone or Facebook or nothing, you know. I'm your typical man, you know. But I realize, and and I ain't really, I mean, I already kind of knew it. But for sure now, I realize there is a lot of backroom talking and chatting and, you know, I mean, like, I don't, I don't get it, you know. Hey, I could like to hear this. <laughs> like, I mean, I'm telling you, man. Like, Timmy be telling me stuff. Like, I won't even know who she's talking about. And I like won't even ask her neither about who it is. And she get through, I say, uh-huh. figured out though. I don't know if Stevens I don't know if that big hole in the ceiling up there is gonna work out. You know uh I really don't know. But he can always like uh, put tongue and groove on the top of it. You know like if six months down the road he decides he don't like it. And he can always put tongue and groove up there. And it'll still look good, you know, like up in the the top part of the of the beam, you know. Up in the top part of the beam. And put lights in there too. But that's just I was just thinking about that, you know, I've been thinking about it. But like, it's all up to him. And man, it don't matter, you know? Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Stone Creek. Uh, that's what I was thinking myself. Hey, Stephen, let me know if I need to uh, get a board or something and push, and it's a, if, if it gets hung up, I done talked to Grandma this morning. She won't never hardly let me get off the phone. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, but... Uh, I kind of... Uh, I really kind of... thought we'd get close to the roof being put on. But I didn't know Stan wasn't going to come back, you know. And, uh, it makes a difference if Stan's here or not. Oh, see, I can't do all that stuff, you know what I mean? I can cut and, and do stuff where I'm standing on the ground, but I can't be doing all that climbing and stuff. I'm, I done got too clumsy. I don't know about. I seen Stephen on his coffee show hold a, this tablet here up. I mean, it's like that rains all the way over in Alabama. But it ain't just what. It, he's not doing this just for the day gone. I mean, it might. It might be raining Monday, you know. And, 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 you know, a lot of times when that stuff starts, like this time of the year when the rain starts. Like, sometimes it can do like this for a week, and and he needs to be working. Oh, uh, getting that, he get that roof on there, like then he can, 
Then he can relax, take a day off. Uh, we've been wanting to go to the river. You know, uh, not necessarily camping, but, uh, you know, just boat riding and stuff. And, you know, go live. And, Hold on, I'll come get that, Stephen. I see. Oh, you got to light on purpose. It's okay. It's okay. Hey, Cannibal, I seen you playing that game. Actually, about two or three weeks ago. Y'all might, y'all might remember, kind of when per computers first come out. Uh, there was a lot of people that would play chess against other people on the computer, and they would quit real bad. Did they do that, County boy? Like if you start beating them, they'll quit. So Christine was about 14 years old. She was playing a college student. Okay. Well, Christine was playing and, and, and she was playing a, a college student. And I started helping her. Because I'm a good chess player. Huh? I started helping her, telling her where to move. Hey, they they would quit real bad. And I'm asking you, cannibal, do them people quit bad when you start beating them? They, hey, he's getting it pretty fast here. Y'all might get to work. That boy, that boy will amaze you, boy. Candy boy, I don't know what he's doing. But what Candy boy's doing is he's playing online against people. And, you know, you don't know who you're playing and if you're beating them. They bad about quitting. I have been beat like 72 times, two, three, but didn't quit. Yeah, I heard you say you didn't quit, kind of boy. But I'm talking about, do they quit? Do they quit when you start beating them? Because they used to do that bad in that chest. Because, like, if I was playing, what, what, most time be winning. Yes, they will quit. I figured that. And then go right, in, and then go right back and start. And like go right back in another game, cannibal. Oh, Christina, she didn't hardly ever finish a game because they quit bad. They quit bad. Hey, tell me I was looking at you this morning. Tell me you're a sweet woman. I don't know what it is about you, but I can tell you are a sweet woman.
What a cannibal. Yeah, I seen you say that, quit. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I seen you kind of say they quit. I figured they would. And I know you like a... I know like you want them kind of people like a... Like, if you don't know it, you won't stop until you do know it. I seen how good you could drive them cars on that NASCAR game. <laughs> Yeah, she's a good one. That film is a good one now. But I mean, I know, I know that there's a lot of good people in here. I do know that. So I'm not even going there like a, like begin to. Uh, it, but like Thelma, uh, she uh, she stands out. Uh, it might be just because I know her personally, you know. And I've seen her like giving super chats, man. The Steven, you know. Smoking like a movie star. Hey, boy, that right there, that tarp right there, that'll work now. That'll work right there, boy. Like that makes me feel better. But like I say, y'all, I mean, the rain, like, I don't think it, like, will hurt, uh, hurt it. Uh, because I done looked at that floor. Uh, several times. And it don't look like it's hurt none. But, uh, but it, it needs to be like where you can work. And I told him, I said, man, I, I talk was expensive. I said, uh, I said, man, you can take that talk, put it on your chicken pants, cut it up and stuff. Put it on your chicken pants. I said, it won't be for nothing. Yeah. Yeah, you can't, like, you can't hardly work in the rain, you know. Like, it'll be miserable. Like, I've done stuff like where my feet was wet. And, I, like, my socks got wet. You know, it's kind of cool. And this time of the year right here, it can, uh, you know, it can do this for a while. I, I mean, I'm surprised it ain't done started, you know, with the temperature changing. Hey, yeah, yeah, he will get mad. <laughs> he will get mad. Hey, that'd be fine, Sally. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, uh, hey man, we it ain't we don't we don't want uh people to come. We just don't want no mental people coming and camping out. Hey, we hey we just like y'all. We just like y'all. Steven, he's, he's had a bunch of crazy women. All of them. Yeah, we're probably going to get to work, y'all. 
face. How you doing, man? I was trying to read that what oh. Elizabeth wrote there and she deleted it. Are you mean or Kimberly? Yeah, well, I didn't want to do that a little. I didn't want to do that. But like, I got grandma. She, grandma's kind of private. And I think he's done got the other side. Hey, he's down, he's over here at the well. He's probably fitting to walk over here. He's probably fitting to nail it down. I'm watching that wind blowing there, y'all. Um, I was at Stephen's house this morning, and uh, I don't know who it was, but I seen him in the camera. You know, uh, I don't know who it was. And I, I talked to Stephen a few minutes later, because I thought Stephen was over there. And uh, I don't walk over there and, and Somebody drives up in his yard. Oh, uh, but like somebody came, he wa and he wasn't home. I don't know who it was. I seen him in the camera. <laughs> yeah, don't want nobody coming to camp in that. <laughs> No, he gon he nail it. I'm sure he'll nail it. He knows that thing's got to be nailed. He knows that wind'll rip it up. I would tell him, probably make him mad. If I just were to tell him, make sure he nails it. <laughs> yeah. Bit nail it, Stephen. Hey, y'all take that, that part that's blowing now and pull it on down with your hands and nail it. Don't don't let it be sitting there doing that. 
I'm scared that thing's gonna blow up. It's nailed, but I mean it don't need to flap. Do it? No, it don't need to be flapping. I'm glad he got that wheel, y'all. <laughs> He's talking about buy a big old long hose pipe. He needs to go get that trencher. I mean, that's something we'll be doing, you know, I'm sure. They, I, when, when, when we was over there at the rental place the other day, I seen they had a trencher, and I walked around and looked at it because I actually need to run another well line. Of, of my, I get my water at my house from Grandma's well. I dug that thing when I was like in my twenties, and uh, man, probably about man, probably about four hundred feet, four or five hundred feet, and it and it needs to be re, it needs to be uh, an, uh, not necessarily dug up, but like uh, get that trencher and go down through there. And, Put a new water line. They roots will grow up to a water line. I, I seen it before. That old black line. And that's what's down there. They roots will grow up through that through that thing. You know, when, you know, when, when people that we don't know is in chat, like messing up, that's who I'll delete. As far as like a squabble, a lot of them people, a lot of times, they'll wind up friends. And I just don't only mess with that, you know. Because like, we don't, uh, I mean, I'm just saying, a lot of times they get it worked out. I'm not worried about squabbling in check. Oh, uh, I know all y'all. I know every one of y'all. And uh, them's the people that we don't want to block. Oh, uh, that, uh, hey, I can't tell you, like, you would, you would get into it once in a while. <laughs> Man, he's got that looking good, ain't he? And if it stays like this right here, we can go work on that back porch. I was gonna help him today. Uh, you know, put the uh, you know the uh, you know the big main boys there. I was gonna help him do that today, but I didn't know if he was gonna get to work or what the world, you know. I didn't, cause I don't ever know what Stephen's gonna do. I never know what he's gonna do. The only way I know what Stephen's gonna do if I start thinking about what he's gonna do. Then I can kind of predict him, but a lot of times I don't even do that, you know. I just, oh, uh, you know, I just like, don't even worry about it, you know. Just whatever he wants to do, whatever he wants to do is fine with me. But, oh, uh, I know I was a little hard on him about this right here, y'all. This dick. But I want y'all to understand, he don't have the experience I got. 
And then like, and then like, like, man, I am a master, even if I don't even do that kind of work. I'm telling you, carpenters can be out here, and like I can be on them like white on rice. If, I mean, I can tell if they're doing something they ain't supposed to be doing. And I want to say there's one thing right here. I cannot stand back and keep my mouth shut if I see him making a mistake. I I can't do it, not on his house. Maybe on something else, but not on his house. I cannot stand back and let them concrete be put around them posts and that post ain't exactly right. I know how important all that stuff is. Everything you do will affect something else. So I'm not being mean with Stephen. He knows it too. He knows that. You know, he really shouldn't take to heart that that I'm sitting there keeping him straight because I guarantee you, I know from knowing y'all, everybody's mama. My grandma be telling me stuff to this day. To this day. She be telling me stuff every time I talk to her. Every day. And I'm sure your mama and daddy was the same way. You say, yeah, we know to cut the lights out. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, y'all? But I cannot stand back. Some of this stuff don't matter. But, uh, some of it is real, real important. And he shouldn't have been fussing back. He should have just done whatever it was I was telling him. Because he knows, y'all. He knows what I am. I... Grandma told me that. Grandma told me, you know, that a long time ago, on him, he must have been like 12 or 11 or 12 or something. He said, all I want to do is be as good as my daddy. But like, oh, y'all don't, y'all probably don't realize how advanced I am. And I am advanced. It, it, and it don't much matter what I'm doing neither. I'm advanced. <coughs> but especially this right here, especially this right here. Like, I might have to get somebody to fix that camper. Or, man, I mean, I mean, I probably can fix it, but ain't no telling how long it'll take me to figure out what's going on, you know, like, like, reading up and reading and reading and reading and reading. I had that Chevrolet truck I got, y'all. Oh. It, it messed up one time. And uh, I took it to three mechanics, and they didn't want to mess with it because it's skipping. And I took it to one boy, and he's real good. See, mechanics don't like to mess with stuff like that. They want to work on something. They want to put you a starter on there and say, okay, you owe me $250, and it be gone. They don't want to fool with something that's like skipping. And... uh. I had to figure out how to do piece of myself. There was three different things wrong with it. The gasket under the car under the carburetor was uh like leaking air. Uh it had like a 
two sensors bad, and I like had to just figure it all out. Took me a month of going out there and messing with that thing four or five hours a day. And you know what, y'all? I seen, I went and looked online about that truck right there. I seen somebody else that had the same thing. And I was gonna make a video like showing what was the problem was with that truck. But I didn't never get, I didn't never get around to it. That looks real good, Steve. See the ladder. What? What, ha what happened, man? This is like the one I think I was on when I lifted that beam. Hey, hey, no, I put it up here, man. Show them right here. I got it. I got you aim there. You can get a little closer if you want to. No, I mean like this busted when I was on it. But I toted that beam up on it. So what's that tell you? Well, I, it tells you like I was right again. I was trying to get you not to go up that ladder. That ladder's got a weight limit. I didn't know it was busted. That's, I, won't, I won't use that anymore. Hey, let me tell y'all something. You too, Steve. L listen to this, Steve. I seen a man that had a big old alligator. was dead. The alligator was dead. And, I mean, he was a big and he was going to show everybody he could pick it up. This is just a day or two ago. I don't know why this all of a sudden doing this. But he picked it up and put it around his neck like a meat coat. And he was walking on this dock. And there was a man standing there telling him, the boards is going to break on this dock. Hey, he was like, went right on walking. Probably about 500 pounds, 600, 700 pounds. Because it was a big, enormous alligator. Man. Hey, I wasn't worried about you, son. I knew you could pick it up. I done told them you could pick it up. I was worried about that ladder. Stephen, you don't want to tack that right there down? You ain't got no ladder, have you? <laughs> hey, it's, I mean, like, that's the best I could get it. You know how that stuff will blow, man? I got it nailed. It's nailed from the reverse, so it wouldn't hold. Water. I know that. I know that. But, man, I'd pull that right there down. I wouldn't care what. And then we'd go in there and... Hey, we'll go to the back porch and start building the back porch if we want to. Hey, like, um, there's two inches of water inside the house. There like, is. Like it'll wet your feet. Oh, well, we'll go, uh, work on the back porch, huh? What you see right there would not stretch out. Not from where I was. Huh? What you see right there wouldn't stretch out. I couldn't get that slack out. Hey, you got it pretty good, Stephen. It's just, I, I would have nailed this middle right here. It made it dark inside the house. Yeah, I know. I didn't, I didn't notice that. I think I brought a drink. Tell my hey, it's in the cup holder right there. I went and get me some cereal last night, y'all. Every box of cereal. There's about four, there's about five boxes. But every box had about enough in there for <laughs> for Chloe to eat. <laughs> Man, I'm hungry. Hey, we'll do that right here if you want to, Steve. But like we had to work, uh, uh, you know, the ratchets out, but. 
Oh, we go back and start on the back. It's gonna be a lot easier this time because we're gonna move the boards. They're gonna be two boards that might not be in the spot they're supposed to be in. But we'll fix it where they'll break right. Now like that, hey, I feel better about it now. That tarp costs so much because it's waterproof. Yeah. Hey, that's a big sum of gold. I ain't never seen one that big. Yeah, it's a 40 by 60. Hey, it, look, it looks good. It's straight as an arrow, man. It is straight as an arrow. I can look at it all and, and tell right here. If, if you had a professional crew to come out here, this line would not even look that good. Well, if they was professional, it would. What you talking about? Like, you got everything straight, man. Oh, the deck. Everything is straight, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, Sound good. Yeah. I knew that needs to be rolled up and nailed, but that's what I was thinking of breaking for. I'm waiting for him to get out of here and I'll tell you something. He's seen us right again about that thing needs to be nailed better. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it. I'd ride again, wasn't I, y'all? I didn't want to. I didn't want to aggravate him because I was pretty hard on him yesterday and the day before. I'm real advanced, y'all. I'm telling you, I am. I ain't bragging. I'm just letting you know because I know you don't know. I'm just letting you know. You know, uh, I would have figured they would have buried this land right here. This, well, you know, this electric land. They didn't bury it.
Hey, you went when you got something like that that's blowing. It's gotta be fixed like where it won't blow. But like you know, I done told him, you know. And that ain't important like that porch is right there. If that blows up, it just blows up. It ain't like that porch. Where every time you pull in the driveway, that's what you see. Look like a hat, Steve. Oh. You know anything about it? Uh-uh. No, it wasn't a guitar. You seen that this morning? Yeah. Pretty. Got that right. I wouldn't put that thing on there. All right. That, hey, that's about the prettiest guitar I've ever seen, and I ain't joking. Alien burn. <laughs> he said there was water in there on the floor. Oh, if we do work, it'll have to be out here. And he don't act like he wants to. It's barely misting rain. See something like that bubbling like that? It'll pull it loose. It'll get the ram to coming undone. It won't hold up. See that thing? So y'all seen that step ladder broke? The one he towed you that beam up with? That was dangerous, him toting that beam. That'll do it right there. See how that thing gets there up under? That'll do it. That'll get it. Yep, well. <coughs> so 
some of this stuff that don't matter, y'all. Like if you if it's a little off here and there or something like that, it's not no big deal. But some of this stuff's real important. Hey, you need me? His ladder slipped. He uh, dropped his hammer and everything. He was scared to move. I told him it had to be nailed down better. <coughs> like, wind, like, blowing up like that is actually worse than the wind just blowing on it. It blowing up, that's, I've seen stuff like that before. He 
it like swelling up, up under. That's a lot of wind. That's a lot of pressure. And then them like little old nails ain't nothing, man. Them little old nails ain't nothing. I, I, I got you, Monique. He's usually your, you know, like, pretty careful, you know. The only thing I seen him do that, like, was toting that beam up that fiberglass ladder. All ladders have got a weight limit. And... He had double the weight limit on that ladder. Probably more than double. And man, that thing, like, if that ladder caved in on you, hey, that beam would, like, whatever's under it, it would break. What well, it don't matter what's under it, it's history. I'm gonna talk to William and find out. Get that phone number. <coughs> well, it's there to see. We gotta, we gotta put a porch rafters on. He said he says he wants to put plywood on it. So like if he ain't got no help putting that plywood on, it's gonna be a job. Oh, uh, so and then there's some you know like the facial board and stuff's gotta be put on it. Like uh, you gotta have it uh before like you can go put the roof on you got to have the facial boards on. You got to have both the roofs on the front and back porch. There's a look, there's more bracing on inside the house. Oh, uh, I keep bringing it up. But y'all see what I'm talking about whenever it gets around to doing it. There's more bracing. It ain't like the most important bracing, uh, like the knee walls was, but it still needs to be done.
Эй, темный. Кэти, Коуи, Патриша, Джоди, Майра, Стоун Крейг. Ain't that, uh, the porch roof is going to go up on that roof a little ways. It's not just going to run into the bottom. It's going to actually go up on the, on the roof. It'll give it a little more. Uh, it'll look better than just uh, tying onto the bottom. But uh, I was, when I was up here yesterday, y'all, I know y'all probably seen me say, tell Stephen to give me that ladder. And I was going to get up there and try to start figuring everything out. Uh, you know, the, what the rafters has got to be and everything. But he, did, he only had that one screw gun and... Uh, and I guess it what ain't no mercy anyway, you know. The wing is getting worse. This uh, umbrella here that it had on the porch is being y'all know. Right down there at the bottom. I don't know if he told y'all that. Boy, I come up here. I was sitting in the car talking to Grandma. Like, Grandma likes to know everything in great detail. And then she might iron back over it one more time. So when you talk to Grandma, you you got to have the names wrote down. She got to know where they live at. Where they from, and who's their mom and daddy? <laughs> yeah, we can make it a hit, bro. But that ain't what he wants to do, you know. I, I myself don't like hip roofs. I mean, I mean, uh, may, maybe a real steep hip roof looks good. Yeah. Hey, yeah, I ain't joking about doing my life. Oh, uh, I was kidding about all the names and everything, but like, and she not gonna start asking you names and stuff. Hey, she'll she'll go over something and get it down now. What's your mom did his name? <laughs> Where you from? Like she knows everything in detail. All the relatives and everything. She knows everything in detail. That's some stuff that that she's told me like it's kinda even kind of hard to believe. And she's the only one that knows it. And you know what I was talking about, about the way a man is? Uh, me and my brother didn't know nothing. Didn't ever care. Grandma one time started working on a family tree. She ain't messing around doing that. That's a good thing to do, y'all. I don't know. Uh, I don't know how you know how to do all that stuff, but Grandma, uh, she's done that one time. Like there's there's relatives and stuff that that uh. Like, I don't even know their names. You know, like, yeah. And I can tell you, like, the Hodges, like, 
my cousins and all my kin folks, they all are built like a, like Stephen or like me before I got fat, you know. They's all athletes and football players and baseball, everything, baseball, everything. And Christina and Stephen was like that too, you know. But I don't know if the youngins like uh, like Stephen's youngins. I don't know if they're gonna be muscled up like what we was. Stephen, well, when he was man, twelve years old, eleven or twelve years old, <clears throat> man, he, he, I mean, he had a six pack stomach. He had them humps on his neck. On the, on the top of his shoulders. Just solid as a rock. I, mean, I was too. I know it's kind of hard to believe, but I was. And then see, like, my cousins is like that, you know. Like, all the Hodges at my daddy, they was like quite a few of them Hodges. And, uh, brothers and even the girls that was Hodges their youngest was like pretty buffed up you know <clears throat> even the girls my daddy's sister's youngins like Christina like you might can't hardly tell it. she might look like a little she might look like a little priestly pot but she's She's built, you know. Uh, and I don't mean like a figure-wise. I'm talking about like, she's got them shoulders. Hey, you all right? Yeah. She's got them shoulders and stuff, you know. It might not be able to, can hardly tell it, but she's got them. Like a butt just as hard as Stevens. You still in there, can't you be? There's somebody that we need to block. Oh. She's like, she's like on here to scam. Can't you be knows who she is? She's on here to scam. We don't want nobody like that on our thing, you know. Playing up to nobody. Oh, you know where Brian? Okay, Brian. Hey, that's what I was gonna ask Ketchup. I don't remember the name. My name. Hey, one of y'all need to get word to uh, Monique. Or oh, Slim Twiggy can do it. Oh. Uh, oh, you don't know. Well, she's changed the name a couple of times, but. You don't want, you don't want scammers on your channel, you know. Okay, so you know who it is, Monique. Yeah, just keep it under your breath, Monique, who it is. And 
Y'all get when she comes in here, get her. I don't want nobody like that on our channel. It doesn't quit raining. I didn't even realize it. Okay. Okay, Monique. Well, you know what? You've been around a while, Monique. Do what you feel, but there's like one particular one, you know, that's... There's one particular one, you know. That ain't gonna be hanging around. These people. There you go. These people like trying to get up. You know like what somebody playing up to you is. You know what somebody playing up to you is. Don't fall for that stuff. I actually know how people get scammed now. Y'all watch out. I mean, be careful. Don't let somebody play up to you. I'm still gonna call Lynn Burns one day and say, it's me again, Margaret. <laughs> you think that'll hold that, Steve? And little things. Yeah, I got it rolled up. <laughs> hey, don't be. You the one that asked about the flash. <laughs> that was actually a good question. And then you know I was trying to be funny too, you know. But yeah, them. Hey, them some good windows right there. I really have them windows right there, them wooden windows. That ain't never got to be painted, y'all. And it'll stay that color, too. And it's got the built, the flashes built in. <laughs> I didn't know who that was. But I was being funny, you know. I'm glad you shook it off. <laughs> I got the I got the kind of watch set, you know. Oh, you had another ladder, Stephen? I'll tell y'all what I done last night. And I ain't slapping nobody's jaws. Uh, because like she didn't know, she didn't realize. But uh, you know I was gonna make some more, uh, you know, a few more shorts. And I did make one, uh, but anyway, on with the story. So I downloaded like four gigabytes of a concert. And I loaded it up there like, you know, gonna start looking through it. You know, you can see where the songs are, where he stops and where he starts. 
you can see it, you know, on the audio, you know, you know what an audio wave looks like. And every song I went to had the tambourine in it. It was too loud. The tambourine was too loud. I waited for that thing downloaded for an hour and a half. And then I was like too sleepy to mess with it, you know. But the, oh, somebody was playing the tambourine. You know, it was too loud. So I got the deal loader. Try to get one that ain't got that, that in it, you know, the tambourine in it. But uh, I think the one I did make this morning, it had the tambourine in it. I don't remember what the song was. I put it on Tammy's channel. You know it's Stephen singing. And it had the tambourine in it, but, but it sounded good. So I ain't just throwing off on all tambourines bad, but that one was okay, but like, uh, some of them like a little bit too loud. So I'm, oh, I'm gonna be rolling out some more shorts, y'all. Hey, it's true. He's getting it now, y'all. And it's quick raining. Oh. I told him. The other day, you know, like, before we put these porches up, it's kind of too late now. When I was telling you, I said on the end of the porch, we can make steps as wide as the whole end of the porch. You know, like, instead of having, like, little... Four foot, uh, four foot steps. Had the whole end. And I said, we can inset it some in the porch. I said, in other words, when you walk up the steps, you've got a little bit of, you've got a little bit of porch on each side of you as you're walking up the steps. You understand what I'm saying? Wait, I had a cousin, y'all, I just thought of it. I had a cousin, y'all, that was, uh... Now, I didn't play high school football. I played until I got in high school, but, like, we we went to work, y'all. But I had a first cousin, and, uh, he played for Dublin High School. And you actually got to be a... You got to be a pretty good player to play for Dublin, first grade. And he was a running back. Anything you will make him win him uh, this morning. Hey, you will. Uh, so, man, he had the colleges looking at him. And I ain't, I ain't shooting no bull, y'all. I ain't got no reason to say that. But he had some colleges looking at him. And he had this girlfriend. That had a young. And he quit, he quit school in 11th grade. And he was already a, he was a first string running back. I remember going to one of his games. And I, and I, I mean, I didn't even know he was even playing. But I know, like, they was calling his name out every five minutes over the speaker. And I can tell you this right here. I arm wrestled him one time. And like beating the way I did everybody. And I probably could have been like that, y'all. But like I just worked. I, I worked. 
Might work. Now, I sure beat him in arm wrestling. And I mean, it wasn't much to it, neither. But I could beat everybody. Everybody on up, I could beat. And I done a plenty of it. All the time, because everybody's always hunting somebody to beat somebody. Y'all girls might not know about that, but the men do. I know one time I was at a mud bog, and I had Stephen with me, and I was holding him. He's probably four years old. And I was at this mud bog, and they all got on us, and I was standing back, but I was feeling, I was watching. Cause some of my buddies up there on that, and they said some guy just beat everybody. I heard them go to calling my name out. You know, like after that guy done beat everybody, that, that like they want no more hope. I heard them start calling my name out. And uh, I said, look, I got my son with me. Hey, stuff can start about that on my I said, I got my son with me. I said, I'm going to arm wrestle one time, and that's going to be it. I ain't going to stand around here arguing for 45 minutes. I'm going to arm wrestle one time, and that's going to be it. I beat him. And, uh, and, he, and you know what he said? He said, I could beat you if I was fresh. And there was some other man standing there that knew me. He pulled his bill forward out, and I said, I bet you $1,500 you can't beat him. That guy shut the hell up. $1,500, right? He pulled his bill forward out and held it up. He said, I got $1,500 that says you can't beat him. And I would have beat him again, too. That guy shut up. He's kind of not obnoxious, but, uh, fell anyway. Me and Stephen wind up getting out of there. They got a gun out. Uh, doing all kind of stuff down there, you know. It wasn't no, uh, it was just a bunch of hoodlums. It wasn't no, uh, you know, no scheduled event like where they got staff and stuff. It's just a bunch of people went there on Sunday. Hey, I was rough, y'all. cousin on the football team. Drew's daddy was on that same football team with my cousin. And Drew's daddy was big old. Uh, Drew's daddy didn't have no fat. And then he's just big old tall. You know, this real big old tall uh, black just lean and strong and, and like y'all y'all wouldn't believe how strong Drew is. Y'all wouldn't believe it. But I like I know how strong his daddy was because I went to school with his daddy. Uh, so Drew's daddy went to Dublin for a little while and then he come over to East Lawrence. Uh, so I got to know Drew's daddy. You know, Drew's daddy, he was a man. You know, the colleges was looking at him, too. You know, I don't know why that son was going to went to the Navy. Uh, there was colleges, like, wanting him, you know. And, like I say, my cousin, too. 
the colleges wanted him. They, they uh, knocked that girl up. He quit school, went to work. Doing not what you're supposed to do. Uh, went to work at a Diddy's market, meat market. And, uh, and, uh, hey, they live heavily after hour, heavily after hour, hip, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, then got a divorce. <laughs> but he got a good youngin' out of it, you know. Yeah, they live heavily, happily ever after for a little while. <laughs> then got a divorce. <coughs> hey, yeah, that's pretty good right there, Steve. It ain't trying to blow up now. Hey, you got it done, son. Like, they ain't nobody know how you was going to do that, including me. Well, that, was a, that was something there. Oh. Hey, son, if you want to go around here and we'll start, we will. If you want to, we will. If you don't want to, we'll. We won't. But I, I'm willing to work if you want me to help you uh, frame that porch up. I'll help you. I'm just worried about my chargers and stuff. That battery stuff gets wet, it tears up. Well, I, yeah. But this missed a little bit. I'm just telling you, I'll do whatever you want to do, you know. Well, I, I think my last two videos I pulled about 12 hours. We can call it. Okay. Main thing is that it's dried in. I mean, that's that's dried in. Yep, yeah, I'm proud of that. Yeah, you've been going pretty hard. You know, you'll be off tomorrow, you know. As long as that torque stays up there, it don't matter. Oh, as long as that tarp's up there, it ain't really no rush no more. I can't believe that tarp was that heavy. <laughs> I can. <laughs> and you wouldn't think it'd be that heavy. It says on the box, 80 pounds. Talking about that's, that's like what a sack of quick creek weighs. And you're doing that pretty fast too, you know it. Yes. Look at that rain just rolling off of it. Look like bugs, but it's raindrops. Yeah, it does, don't it? Yeah. Did you check your paper? I did not. I hadn't done much of nothing today, but, um, uh, look how warped up that OSB is. Reckon they feel better? I mean, the first five sheets just weren't. Yeah, and it ain't gonna come out neither. You got that thing covered up, boy. I mean, I'm really glad you got that thing I covered up. I wanted to up. go get that tarp yesterday, but 
I'll just... <laughs> hey, you, <laughs> you ain't got time to go get it, huh? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's been a adventure. I actually leave my tools inside and I ain't got to do all that mess loading them up. I need to put my light in there. Yep, you need to see it in the inside. For sure. First time it's been wet. And y'all, Steven also was a football player. Oh. And I tell you what I doing. He played as young growing up. But like, I didn't want him to play. I didn't want Steven to play. When he got in high school, I didn't want him to play. And I told him I didn't want I told him I didn't want him to play. Because like you can get injuries. You can get injuries. Like oh, like for example, Edwin Hughes is Edwin's big. Edwin's daddy's real big. Real, I'm, and I mean I ain't talking about fat, I'm talking about tall. He's maybe six six or six seven. He's real big. And Edwin's got a brother that's big like his daddy. And his knees got messed up uh, in playing high school football. Like, he's like so big, like, he's like so big that people know not to hit you head on. They'll hit you in your knees and stuff. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Yeah, you can't. Of somebody big, like I'm talking about big like Howard, they are real hard to handle. You uh, know, like if you're playing football, like the only way you can hardly do anything with them is not their legs that one them. You can't push them around. They are hard to push around. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm fitting to go into the house. Steve was fitting up. Uh, Close up shop here or, or, or talk to y'all, whatever, but I'm pitting the head on. We'll see y'all. Uh, <clears throat> Ask me while I let the umbrella down now. I didn't never turn it on. Okay. Well, that's done. <laughs> y'all sent works great it's a little clip on umbrella and I've used it every day since <laughs>
We're having a short day today, ain't we? Might as well have a short day. Oh, my baby bunnies is over there. They're cute as they can be. That's just my baby bunnies. They all bundled up together. <laughs> they so cute. Oh. Hey, thank y'all for watching today. Um. Oh. I'm talking about zero. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Did you get your new tire? What new tire? I don't know what you're talking about. Thank you. What is it looking like? I don't know what's going on in this shit. It looks like a... Looks like a pile of stuff going on. Oh, I don't know what happened. I just know I'm glad I got the house covered up. Let's dry it in. Now I just need my floors to dry up. And um, I can work in there on rainy days. I can work inside now. So, <laughs> so things are looking up. But uh, y'all have a good day. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Thank you for the super chats. Like, not your fault. Yeah, I don't know what happened. I don't know. But I know, like, I'm going to take it easy. That's what I'm going to do. See y'all later. Love y'all. Bye-bye.